Welcome back with featured volcano of the day going with the Long Valley, Long Valley Super Volcano slash Caldera in California. 11,122 foot elevation is dormant. Has been for the last 50 th 57,000 years um, with the formation of Mammoth Mountain tends to be explosive, hence the fact it's a super volcano. Um, the large 17 by 32 kilometer long valley caldera east of the central Sierra Nevada range, California, is the result of a giant explosive eruption that happened around about 760,000 years ago and formed the widespread and voluminous Bishop Tuff. The caldera has been showing unrest in recent years in a formation in the form of deformation of the caldera floor and earthquake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles, or fumaroles in order to better study the monitor and monitor the caldera and po possible further changes. USGS established the Long Valley uh, Observation uh, Observatory, which would likely be yeah, LVO. Um, so more infos, if at all possible, Either way, the link will be in the description box below as I continue on down. Um, following the Bishop Tuff eruption, a Bishop Tuff eruption and the formation of the Long Valley Caldera 760,000 years ago, activity continued in the central part of the caldera to form a lava dome. Smaller explosive eruptions of rhyodacite pumice occurred as well as well from outer ring fracture vents. The last activity was about 50,000 years ago. In its early history, the caldera contained a large lake where the new lava dome formed an island. Beach deposits can be seen on the caldera walls today. Later, the lake drained through the Owens River Gorge. The young Inyo craters overlap the caldera on the northwest, but are chemically and technically distinct from the Long Valley magmatic system. So there's some photos. Um, Long-term trends. Um, a seismic trend. Earthquake activity at the Long Valley caldera has remained low since mid-1999, averaging just 5 to 10 earthquakes per day, with magnitudes less than 2 and occasional 3 events. Um, deformation trend, renewed uplift of the resurgent, um, resurgence dome that began in early 2002, ended in early 2003, largely offsetting the two, th the, the two centimeters of subsidence that accumulated from early 1999 through the end of 2001. The resurgence dome has since shown minor influctuations in uplift and subsidence but contain but remains roughly 80 centimeters higher than in the late 1970s co2 trend the diffuse carbon dioxide gas flux in the horseshoe lake tree kill area has shown little change from the high relatively high levels of 50 to 150 tons per day sustained for the past several years um so Continuing on, the, there was an earthquake swarm in 2002, starting with a 7.9 at the Denali Fault earthquake of, of November 3rd, 2002, was followed and perhaps triggered 60 small tr tremors in Long Valley. There was a swarm in 1966. Um, 25 earthquakes were recorded at a magnitude 3 or higher in between March and April. Um, 1992 Launders earthquake, which triggers a swarm. June 28, 1992, 7.3 earthquake struck the Mojave De Desert, 400 kilometers south of Long Valley Caldera, which would be about 248 miles. Uh, 30 seconds after the S wave of the earthquake has passed, an earthquake swarm was triggered beneath the south mount of Long Valley. This was the first documented case where a remote earthquake triggered seismic activity in a rem in an er in another area. Um, 1990 gas emissions. 
um, cause trigger tree die off. Um, during the 1990s, large amounts of CO2 seeping through the soil caused trees to die off in several places on Mammoth Mountain on a southwest edge of Long Valley Caldera. Such emissions of volcanic gas originating from the magma chamber often precedes volcanic eruptions, but vice versa, only about one in six such episodes at Caldera is followed by an eruption. Um, there's a swarm in 19... 89, um, there's new from early in 1982, January 1982, um, an earthquake swarm in 1980, following a 5.8 earthquake in 1978, um, and also this was, and looks like the, there's a fourth, okay, so first was located west of Convict, Okay, so, okay, most intense of these swarms began on May 25th. This is about a week. Yeah, this is literally a week after Mount St. Helens went off in 1980. <laughs> and that include four strong magnitude 6 shocks, three of which struck on the same day. The fourth was on May 27th. Um, so the fact that it... Went a little bit crazy with a se seismic swarm soon after Helen's went off. Should have been a bit more r red flag. But hey. Um, earthquake swarms in 1941. And then there's a 7.6 earthquake. Um, which likely caused a swarm in 1872. Um, other than that, there's some stuff going on in January, in July and March of 2013. Did not want you placey. Um, normal seismic activity with numerous tiny earthquakes continues to occur at the southern and western parts of the caldera, as well as under Mammoth Mountain. There are no signs of possible eruption in the near future. Um, there's a lot of stuff going as far back as 2012 with August. So links to this and the other thing will be in the description box below. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.